when could the crypto market reach an all-time high when could it go back up so we're going to talk about this in, the, in this video and i do apologize for this kind of crazy uh you know lighting effect i've got going on here uh, i'm in my truck and this is my macbook that i've always recorded on but today my camera is deciding to give me these very odd lighting scenarios it looks like i've got halos and kind of weird look at that. look how the light moves it's kind of cool Ooh, it looks like i'm being controlled with like like i'm in the matrix you know when you had those those green things you know like have you ever seen the matrix like you saw the all the matrix thing anyway you know i'm getting it. if you've seen it you get it so anyway apologize for the weird lighting but hey i wanted to make this video for you guys so my son is at a lacrosse thing and so i'm recording in my truck just making content for you guys all right so when could an all-time high for crypto happen and it's closer than you think now it's not tomorrow it's not next week okay we all know kind of the world we're living in right now and uh, it's not great we all know that if you're in crypto every single day so this is when bitcoin now we're talking about bitcoin but we're also when we talk about bitcoin we're talking about the overall crypto market so right now the crypto market capitalization is 1 trillion 120 billion it's basically flat right now we have bitcoin at 26,008, ethereum at 1800. now i talk about these two a lot in, in context because you need to know this look at this number right here dominance bit BTC and ETH. You see that 46 and 19. So basically that says that if you add those two numbers up, that you've got um, basically 25, no, 25. <laughs> Six, uh, don't do math in public, right? I say that all the time. 65 plus percent, 25, right? <laughs> It's not, not good, Austin. Don't do it. Don't do math in public, Austin. Okay, you have 65%. What does that mean? What am I trying to convey to you? Is that Bitcoin and Ethereum, those two guys right there, they make up, their entire market capitalization makes up 65% of the entire crypto market capitalization, which is why we spend so much time talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Even if you don't own them, by the way, not investing advice, you should, um, then, you know, where they go, the rest shall follow, right? So that's why we're talking about when Bitcoin reaches an all-time high, why is that important? Because when Bitcoin goes up, everything else rises with it. Okay, so the all-time high for Bitcoin that we all know was approximately 69000 and that was in late 2021. Well, Bitcoin has been presenting a lot, has basically been presenting higher highs and higher lows as we've been kind of rolling along, right? Now, we know it dropped, and now it's coming back. And so when it starts to do this, as you can see from this chart, is it's kind of moving up higher highs and higher lows, okay? Is that we are expecting to see, to re kind of hit an all-time high before 2025. And they're like, okay, so don't tune me out. Don't be like, oh okay, my God, Austin, 2025 is like so far away. Oh my God, da, 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 da. Well, okay, here's what I'm gonna remind you of. I'm gonna remind you of the fact that we have a Bitcoin halving event happening in 2024, April, May. And around always, historically, every single Bitcoin halving event we've had, you have Bitcoin and the crypto market, okay, going up dramatically. And so I've seen different charts and different data it says that pretty much it's a guarantee that Bitcoin will hit at least 100,000 in and around this event the Bitcoin having, which could lead to more of like later mid 2024, which does coincide with this by 25, 2025, we could see Bitcoin hitting its all time high, which will equate to the crypto market hitting its all time high and continuing, you know, that narrative of a significant massive bull run that is out there. And I think we all know it's there. It's not there right now. Right. And it's and kind of day to day right now. This is so wild seeing this kind of weird lighting. It's it. Let's call it what it is right now in crypto. It's not fun. We all know it. If you're in it every day, you're looking at it. You're seeing you're looking at your portfolio on your phone or your computer. And you're like, this is just simply not fun. No, it's not. I'm going to I'm not going to tell you that it's not. I'm in it every day. I have major investment in cryptos, right? So just living it every day right now is not a lot of fun. We've got a lot of bad news out there. You know, um, inflation, you know, global, you know, you know, the war with Russia, Ukraine, just just the narrative out there is not good. And I'm not talking about just crypto. I'm talking about also stocks. But these are the times that we have that we have right now. We kind of got to we've got to get through them. And but it will get better. And if you're investing now, if you're buying now, if you're buying at the low, which, you know, these are our low times and you're locking in really, really great low costs that you will benefit from dramatically when we do see these 
massive bull runs that will come in the near future into 24 Bitcoin having and all that kind of stuff. All right. I'll see you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you. I'll see you.